everyone and welcome back to my channel. So happy new year as a lot of you probably have a new year's resolution to eat healthier. So at least first half of this year I'll try and show you more of the healthier recipes that I know. So the first recipe for today and this year we're gonna make dorada with roasted vegetables and it's gonna be one pan dish. So everything is gonna be made in one baking dish and it's pretty much a whole meal where you have fish and vegetables. So let me show you the ingredients. So like I said, we're making fish and this is dorada, also called orada and sea bream, I believe. Um, this is white fish. You can use any white fish if you can't find this one, but dorada is really good. If you've never tried it before, try it out. So it's cleaned out, um, descaled, no head. You're also going to need these vegetables. So some asparagus, some zucchinis and cherry tomatoes. And yes, I prefer cherry tomatoes here. You're also going to need some bell pepper, any color, but try orange, red, or yellow, not green. Um, some lemon, some purple onion, and some cloves of garlic. So I have about four big ones here. You're also going to need black pepper, salt, as well as, this is no salt organic seasoning. This is a mix of vegetables and herbs. And also this vegetable and herb medley that has no salt. And the last thing, we're gonna need some kind of oil. So olive oil, avocado oil, any oil would work. So that's all the ingredients. So let me show you how to make it. So let's start by cutting up and making our vegetables. So the first thing you're gonna do is take your zucchini. You're gonna cut off the ends, cut in half, and in half like this again. So you wanna make half circle slices. And when you cut your vegetables, try and make um, size thickness of your slices pretty similar so it cooks more evenly. So now we cut up the zucchini and just place it into some kind of a big mixing bowl where you're going to add the rest of the vegetables. So let's work on the asparagus. So the first thing you want to do, of course, wash it. And then you're just going to break it. And you break it where it breaks. So wherever it breaks off, this part you throw out. So where this flowering part is, this is what you keep. And the reason you break it like this better than cutting it with a knife because it breaks at a perfect point where this part is very um, hard to eat when you cook it. So you don't want to cook that part, at least not when you're roasting it. Okay, so all the ends are broken off. So what I'm going to do for the asparagus, I'm just going to cut them in half. So I want pieces just like that. If they're really long, some of the pieces, cut into thirds. Okay, the next thing I'm going to work on is garlic. I really like roasted garlic. So I'm going to take about two of these big cloves of garlic and I'm just going to cut pieces that are like this big pretty much. And I'm going to add that to my vegetables as well. The next thing I'm going to do is take my purple onion and you just want to cut this as well and add it to the same bowl. So like I said, try and keep all the vegetable pieces kind of similar in size. I know it's kind of difficult because they're all different shape, but just give it your best bet. So I'm going to cut my onion in half, half again, and I'm just going to make two more cuts like this. And I'm going to say two more this way. So just like that. So the same bowl. The last thing that we need to cut up for this vegetable mix is the bell pepper. So just cut it in half, remove the core, and then you're gonna make some chunks, similar size to the onion. So I'm just gonna cut mine like this first. I like to remove all this white stuff. And then in thirds like this again. Add to the same bowl. Okay, everyone, so that's your vegetable mix. To the vegetable mix, you want to add your salt. So I'm just using pink Himalayan salt. You can use any salt you like. We're going to add this vegetable and herb medley. I really like this. You can use any kind of spices you like with your vegetables, and I add quite a lot of this. Like I said, it has no salt, so I don't worry about this being too salty. Some olive oil or avocado oil. Don't go, like, a lot but add enough just for the color and they just cook nicer and better with some oil and some black pepper to taste. 
The next thing you want to do is just mix all these vegetables together so they incorporate with the spices and the oil and put it aside while we continue working on the rest of this dish. This marinates a little bit. Okay everyone, so let's continue working. So the next thing you're going to do is you're going to take one lemon and you're going to cut it in round slices just like this. Um, I think one may not be enough, so maybe one and a half. The other lemon cut in half. We're going to need some juice of a lemon. You also need to take your cherry tomatoes off a wine if you need to. Sometimes they come in a box already taken off. I'm also going to cut my garlic in half or thirds and I'm going to put it through my garlic press. So you're going to need a baking dish and a pretty big one, doesn't have to be too deep. Um, the shallow one would do fine, but just make sure it's big enough to fit two fishes and all your vegetables around. And I line mine with parchment paper just so it doesn't stick. So the next thing you want to do is in the middle, we're going to be placing fish. And because our fish has skin, we don't want skin sticking to the paper or the bottom of the tray and becoming very soggy. We're going to put it on the lemons. That prevents that from happening. It also gives off some nice flavor as well. So just like that in the middle. So you can place one fish here, one fish here. So for now, let's put it on the side. The next thing you want to do is take your fish. And I have mine already washed and drying on the paper towel. And you want to go ahead and just make some cuts until you hit the bones. Just like that on both sides of the fish. Now you're going to take your garlic that you put through the garlic press and you're going to put the garlic into these slots. Next thing you want to do is salt, pepper and add the seasoning or any kind of seasoning. You can use any kind of fish or seafood seasoning you have instead of this. So you just want to put spices all over the fish. So on each side and of course always inside the cavity as well. One more thing I forgot to mention at the beginning of the video, you're also going to need some dill or parsley and you just place some inside your fish that just gives off some flavor while cooking. Okay, the next thing you want to do is take your vegetables and you place them around your fish. So everywhere your tray has some space is where you put all these vegetables. Now take your cherry tomatoes and I just like to place them at the end just like that. And the last thing you want to do is take either half of a lemon or a whole lemon and juice it. And I like to juice it on the fish and the vegetables. Okay, everyone. So now you just need to bake it. And you bake it at 400 degrees, 30 to 40 minutes, depending on the size of your fish and depending on your oven. So once it's ready, I'll show you how it looks. Okay, everyone. So after baking for 40 minutes at 400 degrees, the fish is now ready, so let's see it up close. So this is dorada roasted with vegetables, with lemon juice, garlic, and other spices. So I hope you try and make this beautiful, healthy dish, especially if you're on a healthy kick, or you can make it even for your guests, because it is an awesome dish where there is fish and it's your side dish as vegetables, all readily available, and it's one pen dish, so not a lot of cleaning up, and it's quick to make. So I hope you try it out and thank you so much for watching like always and please consider subscribing and I'll see you in my next one. Thank you. Bye.